The Nigerian Customs Service has uh, accused ministries, departments and agencies of uh, government as well as the Nigerian elite of aiding and abetting uh, smuggling through patronizing smuggled vehicles. The Assistant Comptroller General of Customs in charge of modernization, Seidu Galadima, said this at a meeting with the House of Representatives uh, Committee on uh, Customs in Abuja. And here's the report. It was supposed to be an interactive session between the committee and customs on ways to prove a solution to the cumbersome clearance and transfer process of containers from mother ports or other terminals, including dry ports across the country. After much deliberations, both parties agreed that the cumbersome clearing processes be trickled down from 18 levels to just three. This was after the customs confirmed just six levels to the committee. But the Assistant Controller General of the Customs Service quickly pointed accusing fingers on the MDAs for encouraging smuggling in the country. Nigerian Customs Service need your support in this regard. Unfortunately, today, the big men in Nigeria, I didn't say National Assembly members, all their escort vehicles, HELOCs, are smuggled vehicles. MDAs, Ministry and Departmental of Government, of government today, they patronize mogul HELOCs. And that's why if you go to our system, the number of HELOCs importation has dropped. But you find there are hundreds in town. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Leke Abejide, at this point appealed to the customs to offer a three-month window for the voters to pay duties on vehicles smuggled into the country. He says this move could generate about one trillion naira for the federal government. Now that we need more revenue, it will give maybe three months grace for everybody to come and pay duty. Whoever does not pay, it will go to jail. Abedjidi urged the customs to improve their checks to stop such development. He said the House was working on the amendment of the Customs Excise Management Act to enable the agency to work more effectively. Customs need to take this 4% FOB collection. Once they get this done, customs will be okay. Most of these complaints will, be, will not be there. But as, as it is now, they are incapacitated. I know it because I know the system. And I've seen what they are getting is barely to pay their, their salaries. So when the act comes, we will sit down on it and look at it and see how we can help them. Federal lawmakers urge the customs to embrace a one-stop shop mode of clearance, especially as customs activities are now automated as claimed by them. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.